What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So if you've been here before, thanks for tuning in to another video and if you're new here, please get down there and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. So a couple months ago, I did a video on my parts washer right here and a lot of you guys seem to have liked it. So I decided to make a little series or playlist, if you will, a video. So today we are gonna be talking about my uh, sandblaster and we have other things to talk about like my hydraulic press right here and I have other things that we can talk about later down the road. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on those as well. So essentially what we have here is a Harbor Freight sandblasting cabinet with an Eastwood vacuum and an Eastwood uh, foot pedal as well as a metering valve down here. So when it comes to the sandblasting cabinet, I did everything backwards in regards to the bolts and nuts. Um, I did everything from the inside out instead of from the outside in uh, basically so that my gloves or anything I have in there wouldn't get caught up on the uh, bolts themselves so one thing I haven't done to this that I want to do is I want to cut the bolt right here and make it a lot shorter so that they don't stick out like that so I also did it backwards here um, so that like I said so my gloves wouldn't get caught and I put uh, acorn nuts on the ends right here so that it wouldn't be pointy so I don't get hurt. And then for the glass, I use these knurled nuts right here. So basically I can just take this off up here and then replace this every time, you know, it gets all foggy and I can't see in there anymore. I also installed these hinges up here. So my cabinet actually opens up this way and also the factory door on the side which I can't really open because my parts washer is there but you get the point so I wanted to do that because it's so much easier putting stuff in through the top than through the side so I installed those hinges and this uh, handle this is basically a handle for uh, any cabinet um, I got this and the hinges at uh, Home Depot as well as this um, this is just so I can lock it in place whenever I'm not using it. I can also put like an actual lock on here so that no one can open it, but I don't necessarily have to do that here. Um, but I did put it on a little bit crooked, but it still works. Um, inside, I uh, bent a piece of steel and I put that plate there. And I'm also using these lights up here. So, and they're pretty bright. Go ahead and turn the switch on. As you can see, it's very bright in there. These are LED lights from Walmart, and I got three of them, and they all connect because they bring this cord that uh, connects uh, one to the next. So, uh, it starts with this one, it connects to that one, and then this one connects to this one. And then the power cord comes out right here and I have it hot glued down so that I can just close it with no interference and it all works fine. So I had to uh, use the factory, or I wanted to use the factory switch. So I made sure everything was working. And then for the vacuum, turn it on right here and we're good to go. So basically when I want to sandblast, I just turn this on for the lights Turn the vacuum on. And I'm good to go. Um, and then I just hook up my air down here because I have the Eastwood gun as well so that, you know, I don't have to be pulling the trigger here. I can just press on this and it starts sandblasting. I also went ahead and put some duct tape on the holes right here so nothing gets caught up in there. No sand gets, you know, collected there. Um, I like to keep a little uh, magnetic plate here just to put parts there whenever I need to. And then out here I have my air regulator and then my water collector. And down here I have the metering valve. So these things, you can buy them off eBay. They're a bunch on eBay and they're all basically the same thing so just get one on there and you just have to drill a hole on the trap door right here to feed 
this uh, tubing in there and you're good to go. So I only run about three cups of sand at a time and this will keep you going for weeks. On the bottom, you will see that I have this piece. This piece is actually what was supposed to go in here, but I didn't put it on. Um, I ended up using it as a base so I can put uh, buckets or anything that I want to put down there. Another thing I haven't done to this yet is uh, I want to cut it uh, to the measurements online so I can bring this down like another three inches so that I can have more space up here. Um, and I ended up using these casters because I had a bunch of them laying around and I like keeping everything on wheels around here. So let's go ahead and close this. Basically, I can just move it around anywhere. Oh, I actually have them locked. But yeah, basically I can just roll it around anywhere and good to go. So all in all, this cabinet, uh, the cabinet itself, I guess is pretty cheap, um, but everything else is expensive. Like the vacuum alone is another $200, which is more than the sandblast cabinet itself. And then the pedal down there is about 60 bucks. Um, so if you think about it, it's this whole thing is like well over $500, but it's not as, you know, cheaply made as the original uh, Harbor Freight one is. Um, it's not so much a beginner's sandblast cabinet. Um, it's pretty high up there with your own personal touches to it. And I say that because not everyone does everything I've done to it. Some people do more, some people do less. I think this setup right here is perfect for somebody who just does sandblasting uh, as a hobby, I guess, at home. Like I like to sandblast and paint or sandblast and powder coat a bunch of stuff. So this gets the job done easy. So like I said, guys, I'm gonna be posting a lot more videos of other tools that I have done modifications to or upgrades to. So I hope you guys like this video. Um, if you did, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But that's gonna be it for this one. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep moving forward and stay on the gas.